Woman is accused of killing her cellmate inside a local jail. Six weeks after the woman was found unresponsive, the medical examiner has now determined she died from an overdose. WKRG News 5's Cody Long is live tonight in Pensacola. Cody, the sheriff says the accused gave her cellmate fentanyl inside the Escambia County Jail. Yeah, this is a drug that is 50 to 100 times stronger than morphine. Even just a small amount can kill someone, and that is what happened when an inmate allegedly brought um, fentanyl into the Escambia County Jail. Pamela Schwartz is charged in the killing of her 52-year-old cellmate. On May the 25th, we responded to a call at the jail about a death investigation. Sheriff Chip Simmons says that day, Schwartz was remanded from drug court and taken to the Escambia County Jail. When she got to her cell, the sheriff says she pulled out a plastic bag with a white substance. She and her cellmate swallowed some of it. Within just a few minutes, it's clear that the cellmate, the victim in this case, has an adverse reaction to whatever she just ingested. The medical examiner's office says the cause of death was an overdose of fentanyl. The sheriff says Schwartz never tried to get help for her cellmate, who was discovered later by corrections officers. Instead of calling for help, Schwartz helps her to her bed and then lays her down. She then herself gets in bed and doesn't say a word, doesn't call for help, doesn't ask for help. In fact, what she does is she takes the remaining drugs that we believe is in a plastic bag and she destroys them by flushing them down the commode. She then gets back in her bed. And Schwartz is in the jail tonight without bond. I did reach out to the Board of County Commissioner's Office because they are the ones who run the jail, not the county sheriff's office. Um, I did ask them about Schwartz and kind of the process to learn a little bit more about how she was searched, if she was. Um, but they, um, the public information officer at the county commission's office, they told me that um, they, I would have, they would have referred me to the arrest affidavit. But because this was announced so late in the day today, we won't get that until tomorrow morning. Reporting live tonight in Pensacola, I'm Cody Long, WKRG News 5.